grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and will not be repentant. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your world and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ and strengthen you in all goodness by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with songs. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. O die today, we will have to make his loss. Psalm 71 on page 683. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be ashamed. In your righteousness, deliver me and set me free. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. You are my pride and my stronghold. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the clutches of the evil doer and the oppressor. For you are my hope, O Lord God, my confidence since I was young. I have been sustained by you ever since I was born. From my mother's womb you have been my strength. My praise shall be always with you. I have become a cordon to men. But you are my refuge and my rescue. Let my mind be full of your praise, and your glory from there and long. Do not cast me off in my old age. Forsake me now when my strength fails. My enemies are talking against me, and those who lie in wait for my life take counsel together. They say, God has forsaken me. Go after him and seize him, because there is none who will say, O oh God, be not far from me. Come quickly to help me, O oh God. Let those who set themselves against me be put to shame and be disgraced. Let those who seek to do me evil be covered with scorn and reproach. But I shall always wait with patience and shall praise you more and more. My mouth shall recount your mighty acts and saving deeds all day long. Though I cannot know the number of them, I will begin with the mighty words of the Lord God. I will recall your righteousness towards the Lord. O God, you have taught me since I was young, and to this day I tell you wonderful words. Now that I'm old and gray headed, O oh God, do not forsake me till I make known your strength to this generation and your power to all who are to come. Your righteousness, O oh God, reaches to the heavens. 
you have done great things. Who is like you, O oh God? You have shown great troubles and adversities, but you will restore my life and bring me up again from the deep places of the earth. You strengthen me more and more. You enfold and comfort me. Therefore, I will praise you upon the lyre for your faithfulness, O oh my God. I will sing to you with the heart, O Holy One of Israel. My lips will sing with joy when I pray to you, and so will my soul reach you every day. My tongue shall proclaim your righteousness all day long, for they are ashamed and disgraced who suffer the human heart. Glory to the Father, the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. A reading from the first book of Samuel. When Saul's son Ishbal heard that Abner had died at Hebron, his courage failed. And all Israel was dismayed. Saul's sons had two captains of raiding bands. The name of one was Bana, and the name of the other was Rechab. They were sons of Ramon, a Benjamite from Beeruth. For Beeruth is considered to belong to Benjamin. Now the people of Beruth have fled to Gittim and are there as resident aliens to this day. Saul's son Jonathan had a son who was crippled in his feet. He was five years old when the news about Saul and Jonathan came from Jezreel. His nurse picked him up and fled, and in her haste to flee, it happened that he fell and became lame. His name was Mephibosheth. Now the sons of Ramon, the Berechites, Rechab and Benah, set out, and about the heat of the day, they came to the house of Ishbah, when he was taking his noonday rest. They came inside the house as though to take wheat, and they struck him in the stomach. Then Rechab and his brother Benah escaped. Now, they had come into the house while he was lying on the couch in his bedchamber. They attacked him, killed him, and beheaded him. Then they took his head and traveled by way of the Arabah all night long. They brought the head of Ishbal to David at Hebron and said to the king, Here is the head of Ishbal, son of Saul, your enemy who sought your life. The Lord has avenged my lord, the king, this day on Saul and on his offspring. David answered Rechab and his brother Manah, the sons of Ramon, the Berethites. As the Lord lives, who has redeemed my life out of every adversity? When the one who told me, see, Saul is dead, thought he was bringing good news, I seized him and killed him at Ziklag. This was the reward I gave him for his news. How much more then, when wicked men have killed a righteous man on his bed, in his own house, and now shall I not require his blood in your hand, and destroy you from the earth? So David commanded the young men, and they killed them. They cut off their hands and feet and hung their bodies beside the pool at Hebron. And the head of Ishbal they took and buried in the tomb of Abner at Hebron. The word of the Lord. Pentacle 8. I will sing to the Lord. For he is lofty and uplifted. The horse and its rider that is hurled into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my refuge. The Lord has become my savior. This is my God, and I will praise him. The God of my people, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a mighty warrior. Yahweh is his name. The chariots of Pharaoh and his army that is hurled into the sea. The lions of God who bear armor have been drowned in the Red Sea. The flagless deep has overwhelmed them. They sunk into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in might. Your right hand, O Lord, has overruled the enemy. Who can be compared to you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, 
glorious in holiness, awesome in renown, and worker of wonders, you stretch forth your right hand, you have swallowed them up. In your constant love, you let the people redeem. With your might, you brought them in safety to your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them among your possessions. The resting place you have made for yourself, O Lord, the sanctuary, O Lord, that your hand has established. The Lord shall reign forever and forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, and to the Father's in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. Now when Pharisees and some of the scribes who had come from Jerusalem gathered around Jesus, they noticed that some of his disciples were eating with defiled hands, that is, without washing them. For the Pharisees and all the Jews do not eat unless they thoroughly wash their hands, thus observing the tradition of the elders. And they do not eat anything from the market unless they wash it. And there are also many other traditions that they observe, the washing of cups and pots and bronze kettles. So the Pharisees and the scribes asked him, Why do your disciples not live according to the traditions of the elders, but eat with defiled hands? He said to them, Isaiah prophesied rightly about you hypocrites, as it is written, This people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me teaching human precepts as doctrines. You abandon the commandments of God and hold to human tradition. Then he said to them, You have a fine way of rejecting the commandment of God in order to keep your tradition. For Moses said, On your father and your mother, and whoever speaks evil of father or mother must surely die. But you say that if anyone tells father or mother, whatever support you have for me is korban, that is an offering to God. Then you no longer permit doing anything for a father or mother, thus making void the word of God through your tradition that you have handed on. And you do many things like this. Then he called the crowd again and said to them, Listen to me, all of you, and understand there is nothing outside a person that by going in can defile, but the things that come out are what defile. When he had met the crowd and entered the house, his disciples asked him about the parable. He said to them, Then do you fail also to understand? Do you not see that whatever goes into a person from outside cannot defile, since it enters not the heart but the stomach, and goes out into the sewer? Thus he declared all things clean. And he said, It is what comes out of a person that defiles, for it is from within, from the human heart, that evil intentions come, fornication, theft, murder, adultery, avarice, wickedness, deceit, licentiousness, envy, slander, pride, folly. All these evil things come from within, and they defile a person. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Article 20. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God. Take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. You see our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. 
and the living God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life of everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray the suffrage be. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain. Lord God, Almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin or be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Gracious God, kindle in your church a zeal for justice and the dignity of all, that we follow in the example of your servant William Edward Burkhardt Dubois, may have the grace to defend all the oppressed and maintain the cause of those who have been silenced through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Today we pray for the Diocese of Washington. In our Diocese and Prayer Cycle, we pray for St. Thomas the Apostle in Humboldt, Colleyville Literacy Council. We pray for one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church in the world, that she may be one. We pray for the Diocese of West Tennessee, Bishop Phoebe, Canon Sharon, Diocese and Leadership. Pray, O Lord, you continue to provide wisdom not only for our leaders, but also the leaders of this city, of this nation. We pray, O Lord, that you be closer to them, reveal to them your plans and your purposes, that they will learn to follow your will and to seek diligently your will. We pray for our own parish, St. Andrew, O Lord, you would bless us. Bless our prayer work and study. Bless our inreach and outreach and our partners. We pray that Lord you would bless and heal those on our prayer list, especially those who are crying out loud and those who are in hospital or, or in great pain. We pray, O Lord, that you would relieve them of that pain, that Lord you would, uh, your healing hand may be extended to them and heal them completely. Father, we pray for miracles in amongst our midst. We believe that you are our God. You care for us and we pray for each person in our congregation, those who are shut-in, so who wish they could be at church but they can't. I pray for them, that you be with them, you comfort them, Show them that you are their Lord, O oh God, and you've never, never been apart from them in their lives. Father, we show you also all our hearts, and we pray that you keep teaching us more about how we could improve inside our lives, repent and convert. We pray that we would grow deeper and deeper into you, Jesus. We pray that our roots will be much more deeper into you, we become one with you, we 
as you became one with us. We may add in sessions of thanksgiving at this time. Peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn to page 369. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. He is right to bring thanks to Christ. God of all power, ruler of the universe, you are worthy of praise and glory. Glory, Glory to you, you forever and ever. At your command, all things came to be, the vast expanse of interstellar space, galaxies, suns, the planets in their courses, and this fragile Earth, our island home. By your will, they were created, created and ever may be. From the primal elements, you brought forth the human race and blessed us with memory, reason, and skill. You made us the rulers of creation, but we turned against you and betrayed your trust, and we turned against one another. And I trust the Lord, Lord for we are your sinners and your son. Again and again you called us to return. Through the prophets and sages you revealed your righteous law, and in the fullness of time you sent your only son, born of a woman, to fulfill your law and to open for us the way of freedom and peace. By his life he reconciled us, by his wounds we are healed. And therefore we praise you, joining with the heavenly chorus, with prophets and apostles and martyrs, and with all those in every generation who have looked to you in hope, and to proclaim with them your glory in their unending hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son of in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son of in the highest. And so, Father, we who have been redeemed by him and made a new people by water and the Spirit, now bring before you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be the body and blood of Jesus Christ our Lord. On the night he was betrayed, he 
took bread and said a blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his friends and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper he took the cup of wine when he had given thanks and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Remembering now his work of redemption and offering to you his sacrifice of thanksgiving. We celebrate his death and resurrection as we await the day of his coming. Lord God of our fathers, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, open our eyes to see your hand at work in the world about us. Deliver us from the presumption of coming to this table for solace only and not for strength, for pardon only and not for renewal. Let the grace of this Holy Communion make us one body, one spirit in Christ, that we may worthily serve the world in his name. Risen Lord, be known to us in the great kingdom of your Accept these prayers and praises, Father, through Jesus Christ, our great High Priest, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit, your Church gives honor, glory, and worship from generation to generation. Amen. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the peace. Hallelujah. The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving.
Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly, Heavenly God, Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now to the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.